Avenue D, the easternmost avenue in the East Village, is covered in a long row of public housing projects that run from 6th to 13th Street. Um, that fellow was over at the bus and, and, and he was asked me, what are you doing over here? And, uh, uh, and he was so angry that they, he didn't have anything to eat here. Uh, he said, it's crap here, you know, there's fried chicken, it's uh, delis, and, and uh, uh, there's nothing over here. John Mudd, originally from Louisville, Kentucky, started working in the restaurant business at the age of 21. In January of this year, he opened a new restaurant, Wacky Walk, on the corner of 9th Street and Avenue D, a low-income area where food is fast and business is tough. I think he's got guts to open on Avenue D. Um, it's not, to, again, it's, it's not to, uh, the, not a whole lot of new businesses opening up. A lot of businesses closing down. So for somebody to open up, I think it takes a lot of guts. Mudd's gutsy, innovative food concept has sparked a debate among local residents about food and the essential role it plays in defining and maintaining the neighborhood's identity. Wacky, wacky Walk, I mean, it's ambitious that they came here in the neighborhood of offering what they offer there. And they offer the neighborhood something new. It just hoping the neighborhood would accept what they're trying to do. Mudd has jokingly been referred to as the only white guy on Avenue D. This has led a few local residents to drop the G word. And I just walked by Wacky Walk, and I thought to myself, I would totally eat there. Um, it looks like gentrification. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. There was a Chinese restaurant over there before, and uh, it was so bright, and people go in and out, in and out. Now this, this, this people open this place, no menus, nothing, and uh, it looks like, like, like a little bar or something. And it's, it's not a bar, they have a table over there, but it doesn't attract the people. I don't know how they, they're going to survive over there. I don't like the place. Uh, for this neighborhood, I find that it's a little bit expensive. I don't think people like to, like to go to a place like that, but they, they have a lot of competition here. Like uh, you see the chicken there, it's very good uh, prices here. All these grocery stores, they sell tostones with uh, chuletas, uh, pork chops, and all that stuff. So I think with those prices, they're not going to survive for long. <laughs> really. Somebody came in and said, uh, you're the first sign of gentrification. And I said, I hope not. Uh, they've got, a, there's a neighborhood here, and there's, uh, some, I don't know if gentrification is a bad word uh, uh, to most or whatever, but, uh, uh, to me, sometimes it feels like when you're gentrifying, you're pushing out uh, uh, one group of people for another. But uh, I like to think that we're just kind of adding to, uh, you know, giving them an alternative rather than the fried chicken or the uh, uh, or the sandwiches and Pepsi Cola products and things like that. When Amy Johnson, Wacky Walk's newly hired chef, started work, she was aware of the neighborhood's bad reputation. When I d drove up, I kind of left and I came back. Um, when you look at the neighborhood, you're looking at, um, you think it's hard and, you know, it's, it's the hood, you know, that you're going to get beat up or they're going to jack your car. And I have a really nice car. <laughs> so, you know, you don't want to be somewhere you're uncomfortable and don't feel safe. But I came any back anyway. And oh my gosh, I got little kids that walking around with their pants hanging down, coming in ordering steamed fish and all green vegetables, no fried rice, no fried wings, nothing. And it's so shocking. And then you got the hustlers, unfortunately we in that neighborhood. Um, they come, they come thinking it's a Chinese restaurant. By the time they leave, they sit down to eat their meal, they order a second one and they really enjoy it. So it actually shocks me the amount of people and the type of people that actually enjoy this diet. Wacky Walk's menu includes walk your way dishes, crispy duck steamed buns, and the wacky Korean barbecue burger. All sauces organic, of course. So this is my third time. I think it's excellent. It's one of the best things that happened to the neighborhood, especially so clean. I remember what was here before. I think it's very good, and the service is excellent. So it, some of them, the people over in this area, has been slow to to check us out, but once they come in, they taste it, they're here, and they keep coming back, and, and I've never seen such a high rate of return. Wacky Walk may not revolutionize the eating habits of Avenue D, but it has certainly added a healthy food option to the neighborhood.